What is up, guys? This is Sabin Kenobi playing some Orcs Must Die 2. Uh, today we're finishing the Trapless Experiment. Level 15, Twisted Halls. So you saw I barricaded off the other side. That's going to make the Orcs walk all that way, see the barricades, and then they actually turn around and go all the way around. They actually ignore the staircase on the other side and just keep going, which is kind of funny. Let's begin. And uh, then I'm going to make this long walk here for these guys, too, so... We'll just watch and find out. So beautiful. Always start off with the lightning, as usual. Get some headshots for mana. If we can get headshots. Tried some zoom featuring here. You can see shots going right through the orcs, which is awesome. And see these guys, they walked all the way down to those barricades and then turned around. So that's always good. I'll lay down a firewall for them, since this hallway is nice and kind of a tight squeeze for them. Finish him off with a headshot and head back and work on this uh, nice long walk here for these orcs. Because even though the orcs on this side spawn over here, um, sometimes they walk past the barricade and then have to turn around. It's really funny to watch. <laughs> I don't know why they do it, but they do. So we're going to use that to our advantage because come wave 12 we're going to need all the help we can get. See they're walking on the wrong side of the barricade just like that. They get to this about to where the stairs are and turn around. It's really funny. And same as last time. Except we have archers, so I just got shot a bunch. And I finish them off with some lightning. Okay, wave three. Well, put some more barricades down. Only that far, though. Wave three starts flyers. Where are they? Oh, let's shoot some lightning. Using the ice amulet because they get hit once and they just fall to the ground. Works quite well. If you can get multiple in one shot, that's always ideal. And we'll go take care of the orcs. I've also got my polymorph ring in case you'll see lots of uh, ogres and trolls that we're going to turn into chickens. And uh, I have the wind built mostly as a backup. I don't really use it that much to push them into lava as much as to just push them back near the end. Um, I honestly didn't know what else I would need, so I just took the wind belt and figured, what the hey. Alright, got a little bit of a break before the other doors are going to open and we're going to have to deal with runners and earth lords, which is not a lot of fun. Now I used as many barricades as possible just to make this doable. This is where the runners come from, but I'm going to take the ones on this side because they have less of a walk at the beginning than the other side. Come to me. They're breaking through. Here they come, lay down the flame wall. I really should be concentrating on those flyers. Into the drink. On the stairs. Now here's the problem. They've still got flyers. Here come the runners. Barely made it. Finish off this side. Then I gotta run back to the other side for the elemental. They're almost there. Oh, they're not that close. The audio cues are usually helpful in this level, but that one was a bit off. Well, now they're close. 
And it just gets even more chaotic from here, so... And we'll turn him into a green orc. Works for me, that's a good trade. And be careful not to hit the log roller, we want to save that for the final wave. And I don't know what's up with these idiots, but they think they need to go back. We'll just finish them off the easy way. Alright. Way 5. You'll just have to watch my barricades. Anyway. I'm gonna build an elaborate maze as much as possible. And, uh... I'm going to speed up the gameplay because honestly this level took me way too long. Um, check out some music from ocremix.org. Uh, ocremix.org has got lots of video game music, so check it out. Uh, let me know if you like this one, or there will be a direct link below.
Dr. Mario, a remix called Burning Up. And here we go, guys, the final wave of Twisted Halls. All my practice runs led to this. This is insane. This is crazy. This is everything that is hard about this game right here in this wave. Uh, several practice runs involved getting to this wave and dying, so... This is the end result. Now I'd like to point out that in hindsight, I made the mistake of not using the log rollers. 
That's right. I beat Twisted Halls without any traps and without using the log rollers that are there to help you. So this is my humongous accomplishment as my rift points just disappear. Some things you just have to ignore. Now I don't want to die because that's going to take too many rift points, but some things just can't be avoided. Ugh, Cyclops Mages being one of them. This would have been a very opportune time to use a log roller if you look at the mini-map. But I'm an idiot. A glutton for punishment, I suppose, so... I said no. I don't want to use a log roller. I want to beat this legit. Minus my el most elaborate maze of barricades. <laughs> okay. So it doesn't look like anything else is spawning at this point, but there's still plenty of red dots to go around. And this is me just being frantic. But this is going to hold them for a while. <laughs> That's right. I put down barricades early. And Cyclop Mage, nowhere to dodge. Stuns me so I can't use mana. That shot might kill me. Wow, I did dodge it. I'm not even sure how that worked. So we're gonna push them back. Oh, we're gonna stun them. Now this is when I wish I had something like the hammer for the War Mage, because I don't really have a good melee weapon. And yeah, there's just really not much I can do in a situation like this. Now I used my mana right before I died, so I'll get that back. Of course, it spawns me on the other side. Oh, almost fell there. We're gonna block these guys off so that we can try and save ourselves some rift points. My goodness, the other side's still working on their barricades, so that's all fine and dandy. Yep, they're still stuck. That's good. Good, good, good. All right. Back to the other side pretty much have things under control right now because these idiots are attacking some random barricade that doesn't even matter. But you know what? I'm gonna let them. Because the longer they take, the better. Oh, we've got a shaman back there by the elemental, you see. They'll res dead orcs. As long as they're resable. If you fry them, or turn them into chickens, or something like that, uh, they can't be rezzed, so use that to your advantage if you see a shaman. Oh, they broke through. Hmm. Time for some lightning. <laughs> and death to that shaman, because seriously. Dead, we'll put a barricade there, because there's still some stuff coming. Maybe? I don't know. Seems like there's always orcs coming in this level. I just highlighted the log roller and I still didn't even think about using it. That's how dumb I was. Headshot. Use our feather fall to get down here and just finish these guys off. And I'm not going to risk dying by jumping on those stupid little things. I'll take the easier way, finish him off, and victory. Twisted Hulls, one skull, but trapless nonetheless. With more barricades than I care to count. There it is. The finale, the end of the trapless experiment been a fun ride, been an interesting one. Thank my co-op partner Womprat for coming up with the idea. Links to his videos below. And uh, yeah, I don't know what will be next, but uh, be sure to check back. Until then, I'm Sabin Kenobi, signing off.